Today on Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out, we are tackling energetic clutter. Are you often overwhelmed in large crowds? Do you feel ill or sick when watching violence or tragedies on TV? Have you found that people, even complete strangers, want to share their struggles with you? We wrap up our month focusing on back to school as we discuss what an empath is and how you can clear energetic clutter. Are you overwhelmed by clutter? Looking to organize your life? Do you feel stuck and are ready for a change? Every Tuesday at 1 p.m., join award-winning professional organizer and coach Julie Caraccio on clearing the clutter inside and out as she supports you in navigating the waters of decluttering your life and getting organized. Julie thinks outside the box and examines clutter in all areas, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, energetic, and more. Ready to live a more joyful and fulfilling life? Sometimes we can feel or sense other people's energy. The more in tune we are with our own energy, it allows us to be aware of what other people are sending out. While it may be unpleasant and uncomfortable, most of us can deal with it. For an empath, it's much more intense. What is an empath? An empath is a person who is capable of feeling the emotions of others despite the fact that they themselves are not going through the same situation. When most of us get a feeling or sensation, it affects an empath at a deeper level. We may be slightly annoyed by someone's energy, but for an empath, they may get physically sick. Empaths can develop awareness so they are able to release the energetic clutter that isn't theirs. Some common traits of empaths. Are you unsure if you're an empath? Here are some signs you might be. Being in public places like malls or stadiums where there are lots of people around you can be overwhelming. Watching violence, cruelty, or tragedy on the TV is unbearable. Feeling physical symptoms of another. An empath will almost always develop the ailments off another, colds, aches, and pains, especially those they're closest to, like sympathy pains. Others will share their problems with you, even strangers. Alcohol and drugs are a few addictions that empaths turn to as a form of self-protection to block out the emotions of others. Empaths struggle with setting boundaries because the disappointment, anger, and grief, and other emotions of other people impacts them deeply. Your body often feels icky, murky, dark, and unpleasant, even if you have no medical condition to attribute those feelings to. You can feel and act drunk without drinking a drop simply by being around other inebriated people. Vivid and or lucid dreaming. Dreaming in detail and inquisitive of dream content. I also encourage you, as I like to say, Google is your friend. Do some more research. There are lots of other ways that might indicate whether or not you're an empath. Know your triggers. Do you have more of a reaction around certain people? Do certain situations or events feel more strongly? Do reading or watching certain TV shows affect you more deeply? Pay attention and start tracking what throws you off balance the most. Surrounded by clutter? Tired of the stress it creates? Ready to find peace of mind and reduce your anxiety? Our comprehensive How to Declutter Your Life course guides you step by step in how to clear clutter and simplify your life. Each section is three months, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, and features manageable to-dos. A bonus month on clearing energetic clutter is also included. Choose either workbook or video course. How to Declutter Your Life is designed to build a strong foundation for releasing clutter and continued personal growth. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Supporting yourself. An aware empath will understand they are experiencing someone else's energy. Here are some tips to help you not take on other people's energetic clutter. Talk things out. Release emotions. Empaths may bottle up emotions and build barriers to not let others know their thoughts and or feelings. Drop the energy vampires. By becoming aware and learning your triggers, you can release those who affect you the most. 
raising your consciousness and awareness. The more you learn about yourself and become aware, the less likely people can affect you. Ground yourself. Learn techniques to ground. Being grounded means you are less likely to be thrown off or knocked out by someone else's energy. Deep breathing helps connect you to your inner knowing and keep you centered. Ask for guidance. Whatever is your source for spiritual comfort, ask for help and then listen. Get support from family and friends. What do you need? How can they support you? Make sure you have enough physical space from others when out in public. Create a sacred space and home where you can rest, relax, and recharge. Be very aware of the company you keep. Examine who is in your life and how they affect you. Read and learn more about being an empath. Talk to people you know. See how they handle other people's energetic clutter. Also reference my earlier episode, number 127, from July 26th on other people's energy. Don't get caught up in the label. If you are an empath, you are especially sensitive to others' energy and most likely need to take extra care. I suggest, however, not getting caught up in the label, but use it to support you. We all have our gifts and being an empath is no more special than any other gift. According to what I share today, I am an empath, but I don't like to consider myself one because I don't like to label myself. What I do is work on raising my consciousness and awareness. Neither good or bad. I did an earlier podcast on emotional clutter and discussed how emotions aren't good or bad. I'm going to encourage you to think about this with energy. If you can view it as neither good or bad, it has less effect on you. You may be overwhelmed with others' energy right now, and that's okay. I plant this as a seed of awareness. Once you realize nothing is good or bad, it won't affect you as much. Oh, there's someone's sadness coming my way. Interesting. I will watch it float on by. Whoa, can feel some anger there. I'm definitely going to let that pass me by. Takeaways from today's podcast. An empath is a person who is capable of feeling the emotions of others despite the fact that they themselves are not going through the same situation. Know your triggers. Do you have more of a reaction around certain people? Do certain situations or events feel more strongly? Do reading or watching certain TV shows affect you more deeply? An aware empath will understand they are experiencing someone else's energy. Try different methods such as talking about how you're feeling, asking for help, and creating a sacred space in your home. Go out, clear the clutter to create the life you choose, deserve, and desire. Ready to clear clutter and share your gifts with the world? The journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. So what step will you take today? Sign up for our newsletter and receive a free copy of our 10 Steps to Clearing Clutter. Julie Caraccio provides coaching, professional organizing and speaking, organizing classes, positive affirmations, and her unique How to Declutter Your Life course. Learn more at reawakenyourbrilliance.com. Subscribe to Clearing the Clutter Inside and Out and join us next Tuesday at 1 p.m.